Real time event streaming has been rapidly growing across many business types. Currently in all markets everything is driven by events. Simple way to think about is that event streaming enables companies to analyze and respond to that event in real time. Vast number of business events create an incredible amount of data which can make real time decisions difficult. Companies must gain reliable insights that can lead to quick decisions and enhance customer experience. All of this and more can be done through event streaming. There are many event streaming products or platforms available in the market. Right now, the most prevalent and most popular platform for event streaming is Apache Kafka. Hi guys, this is Vishal. So beginning with this video, I'm starting a new real stream on my channel to give you more insights about Apache Kafka and Confluent platform. If you like my contents then please consider subscribing my channel and click on bell icon to get latest update. So let's get started with an introduction to understand what is Apache Kafka and Confluent platform and then later the difference between these two. What is Apache Kafka? It is an open source free of cost distributed event streaming platform. Event streaming means capturing data in real time from event sources like databases, sensors, file system, external application in the stream of event form, storing, processing in real time and directing to other applications or system as and when needed. It ensures continuous flow of data so that right information reach at right place. Most common use cases of event streaming are to process financial stock market related transaction or to capture social media activities or to gather data from IoT devices like traffic cameras for penalties calculation. Now this is the high level architecture of Apache Kafka. It is a distributed system that means it runs as a cluster of one or more servers. So this is the high level architecture of Apache Kafka. It is a distributed system that means it runs as a cluster of one or more servers. On the left hand side we have a producers which push the data to the Kafka topics while on the right hand side we have a consumer or subscribers which reads the data from the Kafka topic and feed to the other applications. Please note producer and consumer are independent of each other. They are highly decoupled. So they may run on different machines and read or push the data at different rate. Limitations in Apache Kafka Despite being rich in features, it is a more of a published subscribe platform. It does not have entire data processing and operation tools. Also, when it comes to storing capabilities, you need to use on-cloud or on-premises platform. So what comes to our rescue? So there is another product called Confluent Platform. Confluent is a full-scale event streaming platform built on Apache Kafka with additional features. It expands the benefit of Kafka with enterprise-grade features with removing burden of management or monitoring. It simplifies connecting data sources to Kafka, building streaming applications, securing, monitoring and managing Kafka infrastructure. It lets you focus on business value of data rather than underlying mechanics. Please note, Confluent Platform is a licensed product. That means there is a cost associated with it. Now this is the high level architecture of Confluent Platform. Looking at the architecture, it uses Apache Kafka as a base and added development, monitoring, scalability, security features as a toppings on it. Including key capabilities like publish, subscribe, storing stream of events, processing stream of events, it does add schema registry, REST proxy, built-in Kafka connectors, KSQLDB type of features. So final conclusion, Confluent platform has more capabilities than Apache Kafka, but it is a licensed product, so there is a cost to business. While on the other hand, Apache Kafka is an open source free of cost, but comes with limited capabilities.